Hello folks, this is Graham Walker reporting to you from the Art of Leeds. Uh, I'm at, uh, outside a brand new, exciting new uh, restaurant that's about to open and American cocktail bar. Uh, this is called uh, Neighbourhood. I'm going to actually turn around and just show you where I am. Uh, we're right in the middle of, uh, we're right here in the middle of uh, Greek Street, uh, in the middle of Leeds. Uh, uh, this fantastic building uh, where I'm told that you're going to be able to dine, drink and dance. Uh, and uh, we've got somebody waiting inside to, to tell us all about it. Um, so without any further ado, let me take you in and introduce you and show you around this spectacular new restaurant and bar. And this is uh, James Itchin, who's the CEO and founder. Hi, Hello. James. Hi, how are you? Welcome oh. to uh, Neighbourhood Needs. Well, thank you for actually inviting us in to be the first to have a look around it. This Very looks welcome. spectacular. What can you tell me about Very it? Very proud of it. Uh, well, basically, Neighbourhood uh, is our New York-inspired vibrant dining. Uh, restaurant and bar venue. Uh, we're all about great food, uh, great cocktails and uh, a great time. Well, it, it certainly looks fantastic inside. Uh, I, I know that this is a restaurant and bar. I just want to give people, before we actually give a, a proper guided tour, sure. just a, a real brief look around. Look, this is the, this is, uh, I think that's Tom Cruise behind there, actually throwing a few, uh, a few moves on the cocktail bar, right down to the, uh, to the seating area at the back. Uh, but of course, obviously, although you've got the bar area and people can come in here just for a drink, what you've got down here, you've got this spectacular restaurant area as well. Can we just have a, a quick look well, round it and tell me a little bit about it? So, essentially, uh, we designed the venue as a sociable space. So, up here we've got uh, the main restaurant area. Uh, so, uh, you're coming in for, for lunch or dinner. This is where, you know, you're, you're going to eat and drink. This is also going to uh, morph into a bottle serve area, post sort of 10.30 for your Thursday, Friday, Saturday evenings. I can see, yeah, there's a couple of things I want to mention here. First of all, I'll just mention about the seating. You've got tables for two, very romantic, very intimate. Then you've got the big tables here for 10, so people can come in, they can have a full-blown party yeah, so here as well. All, it's all about social dining, uh, you know, so we can cater for, for twos, fours, sixes, eights, tens. And what these tables are great for is sort of post 10.30 when the party really starts going where we've got the entertainers on, the dancers on, you know, this is where you're going to be drinking your champagne and your, and your vodka and your, and your large groups, hopefully. Yeah, you're making me want it to be Friday night already, it's only Monday, yeah, but, and there's a sign over there that sums up my idea, but we'll talk about that in a minute when we get there. Um, I just want to have a look at this spectacular kind of artwork that you've got on uh, around the room as well. I mean, you've bought a bit of New York to leave here, haven't you? What's, who, who's done this? What's yeah, this so, all about? So, um, Obviously, when you think about New York, you think about edge, uh, you think about it being urban, gritty, but we wanted to do something that had both grit and glamour. Uh, so, you know, neighbourhood aspires to be the best, uh, create beautiful venues. So we thought that we'd fly in one of the world's most famous street artists, Tristan Eason from uh, America, uh, and, you know, apply the artwork to, to the brick. You know, so it's something completely new and different. Yeah, it's a great backdrop, isn't it? And I mean, uh, if people are not too sure who that is, he's, he's kind of almost getting a Banksy reputation, that guy, isn't he? He's uh, very, very well known. Oh, he's huge, he's huge. You know, he's worked for some of the world's biggest brands, Johnny Walker, uh, Hublot, uh, everybody. You know, we were really, really lucky to, to, to get him. Uh, you know, so we're, we're very proud of it. I'm just going to uh, just flash up on you just to show people that we're actually at the new neighbourhood, uh, which is the bar uh, and uh, restaurant that's coming to, to Leeds. Um, you've already got uh, bars in, in um, I, I think it's, um, uh, well, you, you, you told me, James. Where, where have you got the bars? So, uh, Manchester and Liverpool. Uh, this is our, our third and, and newest flagship. Uh, and hopefully we'll uh, get a couple of neighbourhoods open uh, over the next 18 months as well in other uh, sort of major cities, major hubs in, in the UK. Now, obviously, this one's not opened yet, uh, but we have got a bit of video here that we're going to show people just some of the excitement of the, the, the great drinks, the great com company, the great food that you have. I, I don't know if this was filmed in, in Liverpool or Manchester. That was uh, actually filmed in, in both of the venues, and we wanted the people of Leeds uh, to sort of really understand what we're about. Well, 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 we'll put the video on and let people have a look at it. Unfortunately, Facebook uh, saying that we can't um, stream the music as well on this because of copyright issues, unfortunately, but you can talk us through it. I'm not going to sing those. You're not going to sing? Well, no. we don't know. Let's see. No, no, no. So let's just, if we just, if we go to the video and you can just tell people a little bit about, I mean, suppose social network's a big part of, of, of yeah, what you're doing as well, isn't it? it's all about millennials now and, and, you know, I suppose our sort of uh, main demographic are, are into... Yeah, the, uh, I, the, I can see you've got very similar styles in, in all your venues. Yeah, so we want each unit to be unique in its own way, but we do, we, we do try and stick to a main sort of theme of, of graffiti, uh, our neons, our entertainment, so we've got sax, bongos and all the venues are all in Leeds as well. Uh, you know, we're, we're just known for sort of 
uh, being edgy, being very urban, you know, and we're still a young independent company, uh, you know, and I hope that it comes through in our design, our service and ev everything that we do. Yeah, and as, that, as we're just saying, this is new, it's uh, called Neighbourhood and it's coming to Leeds and it's on Greek Street. So here I am uh, with James Itchin, who's the CEO and founding member. Uh, James, you, we've had a look where the food uh, laid out, we're going to have a look at the food in a, in a couple of minutes, but first of all, take us across to the cocktail bar and show us what... what well, we're what, famous, we're famous yeah. for our cocktail, so this is, uh, this is the, the main bar. Wow. The menu. Just have a look around here. It's a, it's a great space. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm, I just want to linger on this bit of neon here as well, which is, uh, which is a great message, isn't it? Yeah, and it just sums up our personality, what we stand for. Uh, you know, that we're a little bit naughty at, at the right time, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and now we've got, we've got, we're actually going to show something really special. We've got an exclusive, and we've got Dan, who's, uh, I think we were describing as our cocktail expert. Hi, Dan. Hi, Pleased to meet you. Yeah, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, Dan? Uh, yeah, so we, we're, we're working with, with Neighbourhood as a group to help them roll out the new sites. So we're developing some drinks that are very unique to them, uh, signature based. So we're using many techniques that we've used before, but we always make everything very bespoke for the team. So this this is going to be a uh, um, inspired sharing cocktail, and obviously let's have a look at it. Let's just have a look at it. So just tell me, what's it called? Uh, it's a Nile tea. So it's a combination of New York and Leeds. So we thought a perfect combination would be. New York, the sexiness of the New York with the little few pets, but on the on other hand, you've got Yorkshire with a tea, so we've made an infused Yorkshire tea syrup. Right. Um, it's a tea for two, so it's really social and dining and interactive. Um, and in addition to that, we've got passion fruit in there, light tea, very tropical, girly flavours, but also brings out the best of the Yorkshire. Well, well, I've seen you make one of these a bit earlier, so um, and it's spectacular, folks. I mean, you get ready, this is bonfire night, um, and Halloween rolled into one, it looks terrific. So just as you're making it, can you tell us what you're doing and yeah. then and then what you're pouring in? So basically this comes to the table for two. Um, this is dry ice. We use a um, very molecular-based product. Um, Essen Blumenthal of food, you would say. So Adam will kind of show you what it is. It's basically pellets of uh, ice. And what it is, is 70, minus 74 degrees frozen carbon dioxide. And then what we're essentially going to do is reheat that. By reheating it, you change it back to the gas. And it has a chemical reaction you could say would be a right way. Oh go on then this has been like back at my old school days this in the science oh, lab. No, Look at this. Releasing back to Wow. And it's got a very obviously Is this safe to drink? Uh, <laughs> we say not to consume the actual dry ice itself but we've just dispersed it back so it becomes back to liquid. Wow. So it's very safe to drink and handle um, and be part of your drink. The dry ice isn't actually inside the drink, it's in a little compartment inside the tea pot so it doesn't actually sit in. Yeah. So it's all, all safe and secure. That's amazing. And it gives it off a real, a real great effect. Do you know, I could just order one of these just to watch it, never yeah, mind if I'll drink it. <laughs> but so, do, you need, do you need a mortgage to, to, to buy no, one no, of these? I mean, these are really accessible, you know, within market market rates of a city. So it's £18, but you get two cocktails. Wow. So essentially £9 a cocktail. Wow. And obviously well, it's worth £18 pound just to see you make that. That's terrific. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a spectacle. And so, that's the important thing. Uh, well, it is, and it's about how it looks, but it's also how it tastes. So, come on, James. Has he still got a job? Does that does that work? Can we have a taste of it? Come on, let's have a go, then. So, the essence of this is exactly what it would be poured and served. Not terrific. Well, have a go first. <laughs> Everything comes in. That's great. Spot on. Super. Spot yeah, on. You say. <laughs> <laughs> and this is again called Nilo tea. It's a brand Nilo tea. tea, and it's the it's the it's the it's the New York Leeds cocktail. The only place in the world you can get it is here, made by somebody like this young man over here. Thanks for me doing a cracky job. <laughs> but it's not just that one. We've got some other examples yeah, here, so some the, other great cocktails. The, the, so what, is, what are we looking at down so here? So I think Adam's going to make us a, a QTF. So this is a twist on a, on a white lady, a classic drink. It's new, um, very, very much neighbourhood inspired in terms of what it is. Um, it comes with a little flamingo gummy bear, obviously branded up and has this little bow on it. So that's Stara Bombay um, gin, which is a premium gin. In the house and uh, we're going to put some pample mousse liqueur, which is like a, a bitter orange, bitter citrus fruit liqueur. And then we're going to put um, a little bit of uh, fraise, so strawberry, strawberry, strawberry syrup. So make white to give it some protein and that creates this little head on top and then additional to that we're going to put some lemon juice so we get a balance of citrus and sweet um, and then the deliverance of it is obviously it's important that it comes out looking with this nice little two-layered effect 
and a nice form on top and a nice, nice pinkle and obviously fits in with the brand well, fits in the concept well. Um, that's terrific. So what's the right time of day to drink cocktails? I mean, here we are, it's uh, it's Monday afternoon. Yeah, I, think, I think this, this <laughs> very much, this has very much got a citrus feel to it, well balanced, great palate cleanser. Whereas this is very much a night time drink, this is called Sugar Lips. So you can see it's electric blue, it's obviously a very evening effect. So this is uh, light to Bacardi Amaretto and it comes with a strawberry foam on top. And, and I and guess it, it, any cocktail that you want, we can make it. Yeah, yeah, these are just our signature drinks. But the nice thing is, they're really playful, I'm going to do it for you. You can put it on like this, and a lot of girls do that. <laughs> um, but also you can eat everything's edible, we, we do. So the little flamingos, obviously a little jelly. The chocolate is strawberry chocolate. It, it, it's, it's, it's really times like this when uh, when I wish I was at the other side of the camera tasting this. This looks great. I can't wait to come down and and, and, and try it. I'm yeah. just going to remind everybody, here we are, a, a brand new restaurant uh, which is called Neighbourhood. It's coming to Leeds. Uh, you're opening on October the 2nd, but you're taking bookings now on your website. Um, we're flashing the, the, the website all up on the screen, but it is uh, neighbourhoodrestaurant.co.uk and there's full access there, not just to uh, the one in Leeds, but to the ones you've got in Manchester and Liverpool as well. But of course, the special one where you get the special exclusive drink is here in Leeds. So, uh, so thanks for that. That's been great. So, uh, James, are you just going to give us a, a look around the bar, the, the bar seating area as well? We've seen where the restaurant is, but what, what happens down here then? So, again, uh, the, the venue's just been designed uh, so it's the most sociable space as, as possible. So we've got plenty of seating. You want to come in and have a cocktail, or you can even eat, eat up here. You can do what you want. So we've got cozy tables here for fours or for larger groups, uh, banquet seating. We've got another one of our signature neons uh, ahead, I won't say it. Uh, we've got a DJ booth here as well. It's just a nice space. You know, it's a beautiful space. And then if you could take us back, um, and we, we just go back over to the uh, the, the uh, seat in it. I've got to reflect on that sign, by the way. I don't know if I'm going to get sacked for this, but I, that sums up about my day some days. Uh, but my, not today. This is great. Weeks on the line, just today. All right, so if we, uh, if we yeah, just have a wander back. Got some angel wings as well for the... Oh, like, how uh, does this work, then? Okay, so, so this is just a, a bit of a playful thing for Instagram for the girls. Uh, you, know, you can have your photos, uh, Instagram, Terrific. whatever, for, for the... Terrific. Yeah. No, I, we've actually prepared some. Uh, yeah, I'm just before we do that, I'm just going to flash back again and just show everybody that what we're looking at here is this is a new uh, restaurant that's coming to Le uh, Leeds, a restaurant and bar. This is called Neighbourhood and it's in Greek Street. Uh, and uh, what we're doing now, we're just actually going to have a, a bit of a look at some of the fantastic food that you've got on offer. So people can come here for a light bite, it's not just about a big meal. Uh, exactly. So the menu, uh, again, has been inspired by New York Sheriff Plates. Uh, it's a sociable way to dine. Uh, and you know you can have a three-course meal, or you can just have you know literally small share of plates. So we specialise in things like chicken lollipops. These are a lot of our signature dishes: chicken lollipops. We've got uh, some sliders, yeah. uh, basically mini burgers. We've got some uh, chicken skewers and uh, sushi as well. So. We offer us, uh, you know, quite a large sushi menu in all of the neighbourhood sites as well. Fantastic. So it's very, very much New York inspired from the food, the drinks, everything else that you've got here as well, dear. Exactly, yeah. Uh, you know, and you can eat as little or, or, as, uh, or as much as you want. And, you know, you can even come and eat here uh, for a plate it would be six pounds up to, you know, what, what, whatever for a steak. Terrific. All right, well, look, I'm just going to give people the final uh, uh, look, a virtual look round here. But obviously, if you want to come and experience it for yourselves this uh, this is neighborhood it's in greek street in leeds and it opens on uh, october the second to the public uh, but you can actually uh, uh, buy into this now by uh, booking details and i guess you're gonna have to book you can walk in but bookings are great yeah bookings are vital i mean we've, we've, we've got thousands of uh, you know pre-bookings pre already so i, I do recommend that, that people book all right, James, well, listen, thank you ever so much for giving thank us a sneak peek. Just to remind everybody again where we are. So this is the new neighbourhood, uh, New York-inspired uh, restaurant and cocktail bar that's in Greek Street. Leeds opens October the 2nd. Thanks for joining us, folks, and we'll speak to you again soon.